Golden X for the Sega Genesis, and who didn't play this game back in the day? This is from 1989. Select one of three characters, quickly skim the plot, and then go to work. Originally released as an arcade game from Sega, this was one of the more popular games released for the Genesis early on from 1989. You could play this in a two-player mode, which was a lot of fun. I'm just playing single player here. And this footage is being captured from the Sega Genesis collection on the PlayStation 2. which is an excellent collection that sells at a very reasonable price today. I always liked this game, although I'm absolutely terrible at it. This is a two-dimensional, side-scrolling, beat-em-up, hack-and-slash, like Streets of Rage with swords and axes and magic, kind of. There's some subtle differences, but for the most part, it's just a good pick-up-and-play arcade-style game. It's best to be played with friends. They made two other sequels for this game on the Genesis. I'll get to those later. I always preferred the first one, probably just because this is the one I actually had back in the day. And you can never slaughter those damn villagers. Golden Axe is a lot of fun. I, I find this game to be very difficult and very challenging. The three characters all have different strengths. The uh, woman is the weakest and has the strongest magic. The dwarf is the strongest and has the weakest magic. You know, we've certainly seen that in video games before. The whole game feels like a giant Conan movie or, or Lord of the Rings gauntlet. The skeletons in particular and the monsters and the environments have that Harryhausen movie feel to it. Some of the movies like Sinbad and uh, Clash of the Titans. The characters have fairly standard attacks using their weapons, but you can also double tap forward and then run and jump and kick or, or hit your opponent. You can jump in the air and come down and slash them. The magic looks terrific, and this stuff was really impressive back in the day, back in, back in 89 when we were just moving on from the Nintendo Entertainment System to the Genesis, and seeing what this thing could do was just remarkable. Not that I didn't like Double Dragon on the NES, but Golden Axe just blew it away. There's numerous games like this, but Golden Axe has something special. I like the monsters that you can hop on and ride, and the dragons that breathe fire. There's numerous tricks that you can figure out, like getting your enemies to jump off the side of things and vanish from the screen, falling into a bottomless pit. The gameplay starts out fairly easily, but then Golden Axe becomes extremely difficult, especially when the screen starts filling with enemies. I think that anything more than two bad guys starts to get really difficult, especially when there's three or four of them attacking you. And that's where playing with a friend helps, because the two of you can manage the larger group of people and watch each other's back. Playing by yourself is difficult because you can't spend too much time on any one character. You can't just beat them up because then somebody will come at you from a different direction and slash you. And then when you get two bad guys slashing you with swords or clubs, they rapidly deplete your health bar and then you're dead.
It's easy to collect and find one of the original Golden Axe cartridges for the Sega Genesis. This was a very popular game, so there's a lot of them out there. It's also available in numerous collections, like this PlayStation 2 collection and the upcoming uh, 360 and PS3 collection. If you're watching this show, odds are you've already played Golden Axe. Maybe it's a good time to revisit it again. Watch out for those damn skeletons.